truth of the song. General Gersh... General Gershu Lin. We fight to protect what we cherish. And we cherish our comrades not out of cowardice or fear, but out of trust. The trust in their lives' worth. I cannot assure you I am always making the right choice, General. But we should never build our victory on top of endless sacrifices. <laughs> Is that so? As I see it, you're cut from the same cloth, you and I. Perhaps we are indeed, General. I share at least one thing with you. I too will draw my blade to fight for what I believe in. And I'll stop at nothing to see it through. General. General, I am fine. Please go on. We just detected an intense frequency reaction from that tacit field ahead. That moon, it's gradually turning from the sky. It looks just like how it was during- It's time. Sir, the midnight- Attention all troops. Take position and get ready to engage. Sir. When the moon turns full, roving travelers shall return. The prophecy is being fulfilled. Here they are. They're not coming at us. Are they trying to protect something, or are they waiting for commands? With a TD outbreak of this magnitude and organization, someone must be orchestrating it. Could it be? full now, and the retroact rain falling. Rover, maybe this is the right... Citizens of Jinzhou, please remain calm and evacuate in an orderly manner. It's a pre-recorded broadcast message. Our magistrate saw this coming and she had General Jian de... We knew this was coming, and we were ready, but thanks for coming in time, Rover. It would have... Oh, Director Tao Chi is here, too. For a better rundown of the situation, you can find her near the city gate. Any update on the protective barrier? We've put in all our resources to repair it, but if those tacit discords keep coming at us, it might not hold up for long. Ah, 
I presume you must be... Hmm... Maybe we've met somewhere before. Anyway, please allow me to introduce myself. I am Tao Chi, a director at the Ministry of Development. Thank you for lending us a hand. What's more, the current TD outbreak we're dealing with... Once the protective barrier breaks down, tacit discords could manifest from inside Jinzhou City. Rover, remember what I told you earlier? The Retroact Rain is essentially condensed droplets of remnant energy that fall from the Etheric Sea. This remnant energy makes it a magnet for tacit discords. It records events from all times and places, allowing those who come in contact with it to witness illusions of past events. That's what we call the Phantoms of Retroact Rain. It kind of works like how resonators resonate with the world. Oh, and here's another interesting fact about the Retroact Rain. When it's raining across a large area... Nice catch, Rover. Jinzhou has been a battleground for centuries. That's why it has once the Retroact Rain reaches its final stage. There'll be thousands of... This is the one major threat that has... Our magistrate ordered the construction of this barrier precisely because of that. Indeed, the phantoms should only mechanically repeat what they had been doing. They shouldn't have the ability to interfere with reality. But the retroact rain can be significantly enhanced through the Thronodians. As a result, said phantoms become increasingly realistic. In that battle three years ago, our soldiers got into a gruesome fight against countless tacit discords, either native to Norfolk Barrens or produced by Retroact Rain and endless swarms of phantoms. Phantoms of tacit discords and our fallen soldiers. Soldiers could not tell friends from foe. The relentless rain even recreated the brutal deaths of their comrades, etched in vivid detail. The Norfolk Barrens turned into a living hell. And to this day, we can still hear the desperate cries. The battle beneath the Crescent was humanity's first. Your previous general sent back valuable video recordings of the rain. Those vid Our people on the Black Shores have theorized that the Thrinodian abnormal moon sightings and the retroact rain. Yeah, something like that. But so. Unfortunately, we can't predict retroact rains yet, but we know it's- The moon just changed in an instant. If this theory turns out to be true, that means... And Jinjo's dealing with what happened three years ago. The Thronodians' revival is never an independent occurrence. They could sense one another through some form of telepathic link. The revival of a Thronodian in Jinzhou will trigger catastrophic events and affect other nations. We gotta hustle back to the Tethys base, recalibrate our Lament Detector, and warn them before it's too late. Anyway, We'll take our leave now. Please stay safe! That's all we've gathered so far, Rover. The TD outbreaks won't stop before the end of this rain. We must stay alert. Mom, there's another wave of them ahead. <sighs> Speak of the devil. I'll need to take a very long nap after this. Activate the defense mechanisms!
The hour is upon us. Thank you so much. It's dangerous here. Let's head back first. Oh, please tell me this is the last one. Rover, your moves are sharp as always. Dealing with so many TDs seem like a walk in the park for you. Rover, did you see that? Now, it's almost identical to what we saw three years ago, during the battle beneath the Crescent. I'm afraid... we're already running out of time. Report the situation, please. Madam Magistrate, the barrier's been- Well done, Director Tauchi. It's been going according to plan, if I may say so. Now that we are facing such an emergency, I cannot sit back and wait for Dewey to save us. I will act and see my duty through. This is my decision. I have secured some much-needed aid for our city during my visit to the capital. Also, our experts should be ready by now. Rover, do you still remember? Now we have raindrops that fall upstream and the Midnight Rangers General and the Norfolk Barons, ready to take on the Overthrax. This must be the right time Jue was talking about. Rover, it's going to be dangerous. You might directly confront a Threnodian. Your eyes look as determined as ever. You will be remembered as a heroic ally in our defense against external threats, regardless of the outcome of this battle. May victory prevail the lasting night. I will pray for your safe return. Rover, I have informed border checkpoints across Jinjiao about your trip to the front line. You have been granted unlimited access to all places. Yang Yang, you're one of our outriders. I hope you can go with Rover and provide assistance. You'll need to pass through a tacit field to re- Rover, Yang Yang, I'll be keeping the city safe as a patroller. Do come back in one piece, okay? Thanks, I'll give it my all. It seems the rain is not stopping anytime soon. In the city. Rest assured, you can count on me. I will keep everyone safe. Mm, me too. Don't forget us, Lion Dance Troop. We got this! <laughs> As you can see, everyone's ready to defend our city. Rover, Yang Yang, safe travels. I've informed General Jian that you're heading to... May victory prevail the lasting night!
Our enemies are spent. Hold your ground! Yeah! discords nearby have been dealt with. Now the city's defense. Please update me on the situation in Jinjo City. Under Madam Magistrate's command, the barrier has been activated and citizens are being evacuated to the safe zone. Washu Academy and Ministry of Development are on standby for further instructions. The Baiju is overseeing operations at the Academy, while Mortifi has arrived at the Ministry. Rest assured, we are all safe in the city. And that rover, he is heading over to meet you. Yang Yang is coming with him. I see. We have successfully contained the outbreak here at the base. I will go pick them up as soon as possible. The rain's getting heavier. There are signs of tacit discords reviving. Intense frequency flux. I need to clear the way for them as quickly as possible. Couple more tacit discords here. Time to get rid of them. The Trinodian's revival has done significant damage to the environment nearby. Things have gotten even more dangerous out here. The closer we get to Norfolk Barrens, the worse it gets. The streams feel heavy with dread and the smell of blood. There must be a brutal fight going down in the Deserok Island. The tacit field directed Tao Chi mentions should be right up ahead. We must pass through it to reach our base and find General GN. I wonder what other anomalies await us ahead. Is that one of our soldiers? <gasps> Those soldiers, there are more tacit discords. Be careful. The wicked brain's effects are poisoning. We must proceed with caution. Oh, another wounded soldier. The streams are stabilizing. I don't feel anything unusual about him. He's not a scientist. Let's go help him out. Are you... Are you Yang Yang? What happened here? The thundering Mephis. It came back. I'm... I'm part of the Deso Rock Highland Supply Transport Team. This is where our supply station is. We work to keep our soldiers alive. We were on our way. Had to go through this... tacit field. Thundering Mephis. The rain brought it back to life. 
In the end, this place. Watch out! It's him, General. Thundering Mephis. We must bring it down to keep pushing forward. your weakness. The hour is upon us. Let me be your blame. Synchronization. Let the winds roar. I'm okay. Swift and resolute. Tell truth of the song. Wind Rider! Thundering Mephis is a blend of countless fallen soldiers' reverberations. As long as more soldiers are still dying here, it will always return. Not to mention, countless souls of our brave soldiers remain trapped in this rain to this day. General. Sorry. I should have arrived sooner. Honor is mine, Rover. Madam Magistrate and Tao Chi have informed me of your willingness to assist us. Thank you for lending us a hand. I should properly welcome you with Huang Lone's formalities, but as the current situation forbids that, I'll brief you on our plans as fast as possible. I've heard about your deeds from Madam Magistrate. You are a trustworthy ally, according to her. Here, Retroact Rain Antidote, developed by the Academy. While the antidote cannot shield you from its effects entirely, it should at least lessen the hallucinations. For someone to show up as a phantom in the Retroact Rain, two conditions must be met. Prior exposure to the rain, and a deep connection to the affected area. You were found in the Gorges of Spirits only recently, and this is your first time setting foot in Jinjo, ruling out that possibility. Moreover, you possess a similar ability with the legendary hero who once absorbed Thronodian. Jue prophesied about your arrival. I was told you'd come to the Norfall Barrens one day to reclaim your lost power from Overthrax. I'll do everything in my power to help you make that happen. Yes. Madam Magistrate might not be aware of this as it happened before she was appointed. On the day I was selected to be the next general, Jue told me this. Beneath the full moon, guide the returning one to confront Thranodian. From the threat itself, he shall reclaim the power to conquer it. And if you are indeed the returning one mentioned here, we may actually get rid of that monster once and for all. You might have noticed something off about that moon. We call it the Void Plenilune. Once it fully takes shape, Overthrax, the Thranodian of War, would be reawakening soon.
It is an ancient terror that reigns over our land, capable of devouring weapon frequencies to enhance itself. The Norfall Barons have become a massive graveyard of weapons after countless battles. Those weapons would have made it even stronger than before. But we must act now. The Void Plenilune is already visible. We must contain the Thrinodian swiftly. Any delay could allow it to recover and become harder to deal with. Hold on. We cannot afford to rush the plan. We'll get into the specifics once we reach our base. I've taken care of all the tacit discords nearby on my way here. The path ahead should be relatively safe now. Keep going and we'll reach the base soon. for battle. Thrax's towering statue, built from repurposed weapons and debris, has long loomed over Jinjo as a foreboding symbol of our ongoing struggle. We managed to gravely injure it three years ago, making the statue sink into the water. And now it just resurfaced. Our enemy must be eager to strike. The Vanguard base is right up ahead. Let's hurry over. Greetings, General. Master Tianxing? Didn't know I'd be seeing you here. Junqin recently arrived at our base with one of the supply delivery teams. She has been a great help. <laughs> General, you flatter me. I've heard people comparing the Norfolk Barons to a massive graveyard. Whenever it rains, Cries and moans can be heard as if many ghosts are weeping. Master once told me, life and death should follow a natural course. The heavens and the earth form a vast chamber where spirits freely depart and return. Countless brave souls have been trapped here by the evil powers of Overthrax. I want to help set them free. Please follow me. Our main goal is to contain the reviving Thrinodian, but we must beware of the tacit discords too. They have shown unpredictability in every past battle. The Academy determined they were not native to the Norfall Barons, and instead had been conjured by a mysterious power. After analyzing their behavior, I believe the source of said power is none other than that statue. While the Overthrax is still weakened, we must seize the opportunity to act. With looming danger from the continued onsets of TD outbreaks and many of our units injured and unable to fight, it is crucial to plan our attack wisely. Please, join me in mapping out the strategic plans. <sighs> I 
I have split all combat units into three factions. The ranged units team will provide fire support from afar, while the infantry team engages in close combat. Lastly, we have the special task force of Rover, Yang Yang, Janshin, and me. Allow me to introduce Kong Lin, leader of the ranged units team. And this is Yue Hui. He's in charge of the infantry team. This is a topographical map of the Norfall Barrens. The Overthrax's power limits our reach. Outrider scouts can't go beyond the Norfall Barrens and Valley Junction. The deepest we ventured was three years ago, when we discovered the suspended ruins in its hinterland. But the terrain is treacherous, narrow and flanked by high cliffs on both sides, leaving only one path for our troops to travel. On the other hand, our enemies must take the same route if they want to attack us. With the Overthrax reorganizing their frequencies and bringing them back, we will face endless waves of attacks. Every time we cut down an enemy, it gains more power. Time is of the essence. We cannot afford a prolonged battle. We must swiftly and safely get our strongest units in the heart of the battlefield, reach that statue, and take down Overthrax in time. Rover, let's plan carefully and use each team's strength to our advantage. First, our ranged units. Armed with long-range weapons, they can strike from a distance. But we need to strategize based on the terrain, topography, and enemy forces. If we manipulate the terrain to our advantage, our strikes will be more effective and cover a larger range. Where should we deploy the ranged units? Deploying our ranged units high above the valleys in advance. This way, they'll provide cover for our close combat forces while staying safe themselves. We'll use their range advantage to the fullest. It's a smart move. Next, the infantry. They have been trained and equipped for close combat. The heart of Norfall Valley is our main battleground, where we'll fight our enemies head on. We need to plan our attack wisely. How should the infantry engage enemy targets? Now that the narrow terrain has dictated an inevitable confrontation, the infantry will attack head on, breaking their line then our task force can strike where they're vulnerable. A reasonable choice. Lastly, the special task force. All resonators with powerful abilities, they have superior mobility and combat skills. If the chance arises, they will be responsible for taking down the Overthrax. What should the special task force do? We'll join our effort to break through their defenses and crush their source of power. This is the only way to completely rout the enemies. It's a risky, but necessary move under our current circumstances. Thank you, Rover. The battle plan is clear. I will now recap our plan. Kong Lin, your team will take the cliffs for fire support. Yue Hui, your team will charge enemy lines to pave way for the special task force. Yes, 
sir. And I'll join Rover, Yang Yang, and Jian Xin to create an opening for our main forces and take down the Thrinodian. Good. Are we all clear on what to do? Our next move is to reclaim the disruptor and break through the ground wave barrier. Rover, do you see that iridescent veil? That's the ground wave barrier. Overthrax set it up to absorb frequencies in the Norfall Barrens without interruption. One of our top priorities now is to protect the disruptor from tacit discord attacks. It's a powerful anti thrinodian weapon from when Jinjo was founded. We need it to break through this barrier. I'll leave it to the professional to explain the details. Greetings, General GM, Rover. How's the preparation going on your side? We've got good news and bad news. Good news is we've established a connection to the Disruptor and we're ready to go. Bad news is the Disruptor's electric capacitor is damaged. Simply put, it's out of power. Fortunately, there should be a backup power outlet. To use the Disruptor, we'll have to repair that outlet first, then wait for a full charge. Any questions? By the way, this is a weapon of ma- Will they really approve our application? Magistrate and I have it covered. Trust me. All right. We'll be waiting for the green light. Lastly, we've got more bad news. Baija, please fill us in. Yes. Rover, I am currently monitoring the tacit discord attacks from the Academy to design a safer route for you. We just received word from our soldiers at the emplacement. A large number of tacit discords are targeting the disruptor, and the disruptor has been surrounded by the tacit discords, with more of them slowly closing in. After we recapture the nearby emplacement, it will take some more time for the disruptor to recharge. You may need to hold out a little longer. I'll send you the coordinates of the disruptor and its backup energy port. We wish you the best of luck. I trust we all understand Rover Yang Yang. Please go and secure the disruptor and fix its John Shin. Please stay and guard the base. I'll draw those tacit discords away. Let's get moving.
you must be... Yang Yang, an outrider. General Jian sent us here to help. How are things going? Those monsters have occupied the emplacement with a surprise attack, but a few brave troops are still holding on. We've blocked off access to protect our base, but I'm opening it up for you. Please, they need your help. We're counting on you. Hear my command! Hey! 
disperse. <laughs> One with the sounds. Synchronization. Tempest. Swift and resolute. The hour is upon us. One with the sounds. Let me be your blade. Well done. The rain has stopped. General, the Retroact rain's effects are subsiding. We are observing a sharp decline in the number of TDs in the Norfall Barrens. The Disruptor is fully charged and ready to fire, but... It takes a lot of energy to fire the Disruptor. If we missed... This is our only chance. Greetings. Can you hear me? As the Magistrate of Jinjo, I've obtained the approval to use the Disruptor in combat. The enormous energy consumption, the risk of a misfire, and the weight of this decision, I will bear the responsibility. I alone will be accountable for the outcome of this battle, whatever it may be. General, Rover, please march on. May victory prevail the lasting night. I pray for your safe return. Thank you for your trust, Madam Magistrate. No need for that, General. We've always shared the same goal, you and I. Attention all units. Do everything you can to assist. You are authorized to use the disruptor. Target the Norfall Barons. Defend Jinjo at all costs. costs. This is a. here. Carry on with your mission. You can leave the rest to me.
Yang Yang, Rover, follow me. We're going down from here. Mind the cliff. The suspended ruins are ahead of us. The resonance beacon the Overthrax assault. It's the three of them. Master Tim. I tried to contact. We have no choice. We're bound to. We've reached the suspended ruins. <laughs> it's unusually quiet inside this wall. We should be able to pull away with our grapple. at the moment. Rover, be careful. Something bigger might be waiting for us ahead. The enemies, have you been injured? I'm okay. Give me your hand. <laughs> I still have some for the upcoming battle. Let's keep moving. <laughs> there are several floating platforms ahead. Perhaps we can make use of them. ahead. are blocking our way. Finally. Our signals got blocked. I have to say, now back to business. Luckily, your current locator has seen what the disruptor... The structure of this... There is a floating platform over there. Aim at that wall. We can pull ourselves over. Thank <laughs> you. 
at that wall. We can throw ourselves over. Mortify. Understood. Watch out, everyone. We did it. The disruptor's power is down to one third. We can only fire it one more time. After that, it needs to recharge. Take care, everyone. I'm on standby to help you anytime. Let's try pulling the floating boulders together. This should make our path ahead. One moment, Rover. We can work the terrain to our advantage here. Let's try to pull that wall down and I'll be trapped underneath. Swift and resolute. One more time. I think I know the sounds. The end has come. Ready for battle. Finale. Wind Rider. Tell truth from the sun. Same situation. Let's do it again. An impermanence heron. In this place. Over. Let's approach it with care. Tell the truth from the saw. Let me be your blade. Reference! <laughs> Synchronization. Hey! Don't worry. Speeding up. <laughs> Storm! Hear my command! <laughs> One with the sounds. The sounds come forth. There it is! Swift and resolute. <laughs> Truth from the sun. Wind Rider. Yeah. Until my last breath. One with the sounds. A moment of resonance. Let me be your blade. Shake the shapeless. Synchronization. So many enemies along the way. I couldn't have made it past them so fast without you. We're almost there. The statue's power is getting stronger. I can feel it. We don't have much time left. Let's move on. Speeding up. up there. But how are we going to climb up? I can see a gravity stream ahead. It's currently blocked off. We'll pull the rocks away first, then let it carry us up there. Speeding up. This should suffice for a while.
first reach the top. That giant rock. We've got to move it. So it moved again. Almost there. We finally did it. We'll reach the top soon. The road ahead is completely blocked off. You choose where the disruptors last blast. May it cleave out a path for us. This amount of enemies, we cannot fire the disruptor again. Yang Yang, you. The Trinodian is only going to summon more of them as we go. We need someone to keep them away and escort the others into the statue. I understand you're planning to do it yourself, General. Suited for this task. We all want to beat the Brinodian once and for all. I understand that you don't want to leave anyone behind, but we all know you and Rover have the best chance against that monster. shared goal is within hand's reach. I... I do not want to let it slip away. Indeed, Yang Yang. Turns out I was the one being indecisive. I've witnessed the faith and fortitude of Snover. Please leave now. Please make the call. I'll stand guard here. The Thrinodian will not be able to draw more power from the monsters. It seems the culprit is hidden deep within this. This will be our final battle with this Renodian. Rover. That's the spirit. Let's bring an end to this war once and for all. That's... another moon. What on earth is happening? The 
The crownless. The Threnodian has reconstructed its frequencies. the Crownless's remaining frequencies to create another monster. I remember I saw it during the battle beneath the Crescent. Watch out for its ranged attacks! Rover, have you noticed? It avoids attacking the moon behind. That moon must be the core of our enemy. This thing is weakening. I'll shield you from its attacks. Rover, find a chance to strike its core.
curtain, one with the sounds. As the conceptualization of war, somehow it opted to flee instead of fighting us properly. <sighs> Rover, is that... This place is collapsing soon. Let's get out of here first. to be more prepared.
Victory will be ours. Gather round, I have a tale to spin. Our feather-haired maiden faces a horde of beasts. And just in time, a ray of light. Sunbeams burst through the clouds, banishing darkness out of sight. From the statue emerged two, guess who we have? None other than General Jian and the legendary rover. And lo, ruins fell, a colossus shattered, the Overthrax meets its defeat. Mountains and rivers exulted in glee as the war's finale came to be. As they say, why fear when fate is ours to shape? Amidst setbacks, heroes will rise to conquer. Their determination fuels the fire of hope in our darkest hour. Under starlit skies, we battled, divine rune roaring above. Now victorious, our songs of triumph shall shake the clouds. And our story goes on. Stopping to...